Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Sally Shano here. Hopefully you watched my little video of my most favorite products or at least my most highly recommended products. So I have these here. I'm just sitting here alone and having fun. Alhamdulillah. And I just set it up the XKA600 DHC2 Beaver with Futaba radio. So I'm gonna fly it with Futaba radio. And these days, obviously after this foot surgery, my foot always gets tiring if I stand and fly. So these things are really fun to fly while you sit. Here we go. Now, I'm not in the mood of doing aerobatics on de Havilland. I'm just gonna sit and relax and enjoy flying this baby here. Basically enjoy my Futaba radio while fly this. Wind is coming from right side, so we are good to take off in this direction. Man, really, the foam on this one is really very, 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 very fragile. Okay. Now, when it comes to gyro setups on planes, you have to play with Futaba a lot because I find that one gyro mode, the plane actually stabilizes itself, but it also does, you know, keep the surfaces at the last no last command position <laughs> it actually flies very strange after that so for example this as you can see it actually keeps the surfaces there i don't know what <laughs> look how it's doing like sideways flying see that's what i'm talking about so back to stabilized mode Nice and quiet. One thing I like about these kind of mini planes is that you can fly them anywhere. You don't have to basically come to RC airport or some specialized places. These are park flyers. You can basically enjoy flying in parks or anywhere that you have some space. While flying XKA600, the only thing you got to worry about not hitting anything because the foam is really very fragile and hitting a person is not gonna hurt the person but it's gonna hurt the plane <laughs> trust me on that now there's a reason they went for this kind of very fragile and thin uh, foam that breaks really easy Apart from the reason that the main reason that they wanted to sell parts because people you know break these foamy parts and they want to buy the parts. So apart from that reason, the other main reason is that they basically made the plane very very lightweight. It's an ultra lightweight little RC airplane and that is why it actually performs superb. I mean look at the uh, area that I'm actually flying it in that means if I had a little haul of this dimensions I can basically fly it doing this pattern 8 very easily in that small haul even see the amount of control on this plane is just superb uh, you can control it and fly it even indoors The performance is absolutely most beautiful from this plane and that makes it definitely the world's best DHC2 Beaver RC airplane. Really I actually you know miss flying this this way. All the school, you know, we used to fly like that all the time. I remember when I started in RC, we had no FPV, nothing, pure old school flying. Just fly the RC airplane by line of sight and enjoy it. 
then came the FPV and took the fun away completely and basically push, pushed people towards you know the most boring flights like long-range FPV or FPV quadcopters and drones and this you know eventually too much of something gets boring so I'm glad I'm back to you know line of sight flying with these mini planes I love flying them I enjoy their flight performance just sit and fly relax flights relax and fly you know look how nice it's actually performing now the winds are starting but hey this plane if you have more winds you can have another fun like hovering it at one point and even fly it backwards so yes I'm glad I'm getting back to this you know uh, line of sight flying which is absolutely fun and relaxing and it's fun to watch as well you know I really missed this flying so while flying this around I'm talking to you people and also you know talking my heart because I really you know since I become a reviewer to review RC products I really seldom have chance look at the lift is getting I really seldom have chance to enjoy purely enjoy flying RC for you know fun and for my hobby needs my hobby thirst my hobby desire it's really seldom I find time to do this because product after product things are coming out after flying one product reviewing one product I have to give it up and move on to the next product so really I cannot enjoy hobby the way I used to enjoy before and that is why nowadays I'm giving myself some time to get back to line of sight flying and enjoy flying these awesome aircraft line of sight and just have fun get back to hobby you know uh, fi I mean feel the desire of hobby flying and I'm really I really miss it and whenever I have chance to do this as you can see to most of you it might be boring that one little DHC2 beaver flying around but to me you know I am having the time of my life flying it around obviously and honestly so to say I've decided to give myself more time to enjoy hobby the way I should with these products and that is the reason I keep some of these products all the time with me and that is the reason that you know a lot of people ask me to sell these out they actually offered me good price my fellow RC pilots especially for the Ishin P51 they want to buy it immediately but I refuse someone wanted to buy M2 I refused someone wanted, wanted to buy A600 I refused why because these are the fun planes that I can carry because these are the fun products that I can carry anywhere anytime and you know fly and enjoy like I should enjoy my hobby come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button